Hi, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing okay today. Um, on our prayer request, pray for Steffi. She's having trouble with lymphedema causing weeping sores, and neuropathy is causing pain in her legs and feet. And... And YC will be okay. The wound stopped bleeding. She'll have to take it easy for a few weeks. Pray that she heals quickly. Steph is in a coma. They're, they're trying to wake her up to pull the plug. Pray for a miracle that she'll be okay. And continued prayers for Michael and Danielle. Continued prayers for Katie's son. Katie's is in a nursing home. Pray for Melissa. She's having migraines and her heart is enlarged she's 24 colleen has an unspoken request crystal had dental work done and is in pain pray that the pain goes away and lisa needs prayer that her daughter would soften her heart towards her and change her mind about seeing her granddaughter pray for jackie her side is painful from spinal myelopathy pray for nadia she's going for a ct scan Tuesday to see if she has any brain tumors and she's very nervous about it. Okay. All right. Our scripture of the day today comes from Proverbs 20, 11 through 17. Even small children are known by their actions, so is their conduct really pure and upright? Ears that hear and eyes that see, the Lord hath, has made them both. Do not love sleep or you will grow poor. Stay awake and you will have food to spare. It's no good, it's no good, says the buyer, then goes off and boasts about the purchase. Gold there is and rubies in abundance, but lips that speak knowledge are a rare jewel. Take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger Hold it in pledge if it is done for an outsider. Food gained by fraud tastes sweet, but one ends up with a mouthful of gravel. So, okay. And our devotion today is entitled Bitterness of Stolen Sweets. Thieves in Germany stole a truck's refrigerated trailer filled with more than 20 tons of chocolate. The estimated worth of the stolen sweetness was $80,000. Local police asked anyone who was offered a large quantities of chocolate via unconventional channels to report it immediately. Surely those who stole the massive amount of sweets will be facing bitter and unsatisfying consequences if they're caught and prosecuted. Proverbs confirms this principle. Food gained by fraud tastes sweet, but one ends up with a mouthful of gravel. Things we acquire deceptively or wrongly, may, wrongfully may seem to be sweet at first, seasoned with excitement and temporary enjoyment. But the flavor will eventually wear off, and our deception will lead to our being left wanting and in trouble. The bitter consequences of guilt, fear, and sin can end up ruining our lives and reputations. Even small children are known by their actions, if their conduct is really pure and upright. May our words and actions reveal a pure heart for God, not the bitterness of selfish desires. When we're tempted, let's ask God to strengthen us and help us remain faithful to Him. He can help us look behind the short-term sweetness of giving in to temptation and guide us to carefully consider the long-term consequences of our choices. When has temptation led to bitter consequences for you? How can you remain faithful to God? Dear God, I need your strength to fight temptation and remain faithful to you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. And I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.